character of um, the opera of Lyons, Serge Dolby. Uh, welcome to you. Uh, he has uh, worked uh, with uh, Peter Stein, and he has employed Peter Stein, actually engaged Peter Stein uh, to uh, do opera at his house in Lyon. Then Michael Billington, an old friend of Stein's and of mine's, of the Guardian, London. Uh, and uh, he has uh, gained fame by a book he has written on uh, Pinter, uh, among many other things, one of the best known uh, landing. And uh, we have to, we have to uh, concentrate uh, just on the, the, the point of having uh, three fields that we do want to talk about. Stein, my telephone is in Paris pour me demander euh, la précision d'une petite référence dans le texte de, de Jean Genet, les, les nègres que montait Peter Stein. Euh, je me suis renseigné, euh, moi je ne connaissais rien, euh, mais euh, finalement on a réussi à trouver, grâce à, à, à un ami, que cette référence portait sur les fresques du palais de Chaillot euh, auquel Jean Genet faisait référence. Et je, euh, cette, cette, référence, cette chose me semble extrêmement significative. C'est-à-dire, euh, il y a dans le travail de, de Peter Stein la volonté de ne jamais laisser une partie d'inconnu dans le texte. Il faut savoir tout. Euh, il faut savoir tout sur le texte. Et justement, dans, dans un très bel euh, entretien qui malheureusement n'a jamais été publié entre Peter Brook et Peter Stein. Euh, It seems to me Peter Stein is one of the great European directors because he believes in the centrality of the author's text and sees the role of the director as someone whose job is to realize that text with maximum vivacity and skill. I would just like to seize on two special qualities in Stein's approach to the text. One is his immense capacity for research and the other is this ability he has to reanimate the past and the two are obviously connected. All good directors, as we know, do research on a project. Uh, but Peter Stein, aided, of course, by subsidies, has used research in his own special way. He told me in an interview 20 years ago that whenever I do a production, I try to turn it to advantage to learn something. So, before he staged his first Shakespeare production at the Schaubühne, he and his actors spent several weeks exploring Stratford-on-Avon, and the Warwickshire countryside. Uh, before staging that magnificent production of Gorky's Summer Folk, he and the company again visited all the places in Russia associated not only with Gorky, but with Chekhov and Turgenev. And before doing the opera of Verdi's Falstaff, the Welsh National Opera, he not only visited Windsor Great Park, but the composer's homes at Busseto and Santa Agata. And I recall him telling me that if you visit Busseto, you understand the tension between Verdi's roots in peasant life and his work in the great international opera houses. And he used a phrase to me that I've always remembered. He said, such research provided a carpet for the inner spaces of the imagination. Again? He said that uh, research provides a carpet for the inner spaces of the imagination. Nice expression. And what strikes me is that Peter Stein's ability to treat every production as a research project is something where gradually losing sight of in a world where obviously state subsidy is in decline, where directors are under ever greater pressure to rush from one project to another, and where indeed directors are often driven simply by immediate career choices. But the other quality I wanted to speak about in terms of Peter Stein's relation to the text is his extraordinary ability to reanimate the past and appeal to a sense of collective memory. I think, I think it does actually. Interesting to hear our French colleagues speaking about the text and, and uh, how Peter researched. I mean, um, comment il labore the text. I think it's it's uh, it very much actually applies also to uh, to opera, not only text but also music. It's one of the most uh, uh, musical directors actually I know. And uh, and uh, with uh, I mean when I say musical directors, first of all he reads music. 
he understands music, but also actually he, he has a huge respect for music. So he will never direct something anti-music. You know, this is, uh, which sometimes happens actually. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. there and, and they offer it just to be trendy. So he, I would say in that sense, he is not a trendy director. You know, it's a, and he doesn't want to be a trendy director. He just simply has a, a huge respect for text in general. And what you're saying that obviously it is he it, it demonstrates an enormous respect and for the text and for the composer. And that is the basis, I think, of of the work of um, Peter Stein. Uh, Poi quello che posso testimoniare è che per, in, in qualsiasi cosa lui fa <coughs> riesce a avere questa 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 sintesi, questa, mh, questa essenzialità, per esempio riesce a essere assolutamente sintetico quando lui fa l'olio, quando lui fa le marmellate, quando lui fa tutto, qualsiasi cosa lui fa. Lui è assolutamente una persona che è pronto a vivere l'attimo, a vivere il momento. Anglicano, Peterson, ma io ho colleghi Peter Rivina, который вышел в двух изданиях, затем совсем недавно достаточно публицистическая книга «Расфитка Шип». И вот эта четвертая книга, вы видите обложку первого тома, который появится через две недели на русском языке. Второй том, чисто историко-театровическое исследование, выйдет в конце года. Allora, quando si va a vedere uno spettacolo di Stein, non si va a vedere uno spettacolo di Stein, ma si va a un incontro con l'autore. Quando noi andiamo a vedere il spettacolo di Stein, noi andiamo a vedere non solo il spettacolo di Stein, ma andiamo a vedere il spettacolo dell'autore. Stein è un conoscitore eh, finissimo della lingua, delle lingue europee, e dunque del teatro di parola. Stein molto conosce i europei da un punto di vista della filologia e è un regista della parola. L'abbiamo detto che eh, il, eh, diciamo, il, il pezzo fondante del suo teatro è il rispetto del testo e dunque dell'autore. Самый основополагающий момент его работы, его творчества, это уважение к, то есть к словам, к тому, что написал автор сам. Луис Явичин ал тесто коме ун археологу, кон уна грандиссима аттенционе. Он подходит к тексту как археолог с очень большой осторожностью. Пер капирне ил материале. Чтоб понять, о каком материале идет речь. Per questo anche i suoi spettacoli sono così diversi uno dall'altro. Io assolutamente sono d'accordo, sono in pieno cuore. Io sono d'accordo, sono mit Sprache umgeht. Я попытаюсь не повторяться, потому что уже многое важное было сказано. Я хотела бы вернуться к вопросу текста и к тому, как Питер Штайн обращается к тексту или даже лучше с языком. Wir Schauspieler benutzen uns, aber vor allen Dingen uns selbst, aber vor allen Dingen auch natürlich die Sprache als Medium, eine Geschichte zu erzählen, den Kontakt мы актеры используем себя, но и в особенности язык для того, как медиум, для того, чтобы рассказать историю, для того, чтобы установить связь со зрителем. Aus dem Stück, aus der 
a, a great work of Shakespeare, a great work of, of, of Anton Chekhov, a great work of, of, of classic literature, and, uh, and, and showed it that much respect. And there was the most strange effect to me um, that it felt that on every moment, because of this forensic detail and breakdown that we're talking about, it seemed to me that every single moment I was aware that a choice had been made so that uh, Roger Allen and Jodie May, the actors, uh, might have moved in that direction, but you knew that they could have moved in that way. Uh, and you knew that at some point in the rehearsals, uh, every possibility seemed to have been uh, discussed and eliminated and then focused uh, on, on, on one particular choice. And, and so it was a strange feeling of, of getting to the end of the play and feeling as if not only had you just seen that particular play, but you'd also had a glimpse of all the other productions that you might one day see and would look forward to seeing. And I straight away came out thinking I'd like to see that play again done by somebody else to see how many other choices might be opened up by it. And, uh, I, and, and I hope that is a legacy that will uh, influence uh, British theatre makers uh, in years to come. Many of you in this room will know that in the, the years when Brian McMaster was director of the Edinburgh International Festival from the early 1990s through until 2006-07. Uh, he had a very close relationship with Peter Stein. He had already before that worked with him um, in Wales at the Welsh National Opera. And he invited uh, Mr. Stein to direct uh, many or productions of, of Peter Stein many times to Edinburgh and on some occasions to direct things specially for the Edinburgh Festival. Um, so I suppose my experience of Peter Stein's work came late in, in, in Peter Stein's career compared with, say, Michael Billington's experience. Um, although I had heard a great deal about his work at the Schaubühne, and particularly, I think, uh, something which has not been said in so many words so far, which is the, the the strong political dimension of the early story of the Schaubühne, the ideal of the collective of actors, the, um, the, the, um, the sense of political radicalism and even anger sometimes that was in that idea. Um, I think this was quite important for a certain generation of British theatre makers who... <laughs> di Siracusa, beh insomma dove eh, con grande forza, tornando a quelle origini, no, insomma, a, quella, a quel tracciato che era stato eh, il progetto sull'antichità di eh, Bertolino, eh, spettacoli che hanno abbacinato, uno anche con una parete di luce che, che stava in faccia agli spettatori, eh, eh, perché c'era il conflitto maschile e femminile che però riusciva a raccogliere tutto quanto, eh, qualsiasi guerra esistenziale. Insomma, un, un grande, così come Medea, che era eh, un testo, insomma, nelle sue mani diventa eh, un, un testo fondamentale, anche per noi moderni, no? perché scappi in ogni equilibrio di legge e di politica, come difficilmente si capita eh, di vedere. And I think, for me, the best thing, what was said in this uh, morning here, is what Arturo said. He said there's something very clear. I have not the understanding of myself as an artist. I have totally different understanding of myself, and clearly I'm a totally different person than the people see from outside of me. I'm a little boy of six years, I never got over this age. So, uh, really, now, there are two things that I'm proud of during my work. In the first place, I must say, I was so lucky, and I have to be so grateful for, uh, for um, what happened to my life that I survived the second report, that I survived the uh, very difficult time of after, the, after the war in Germany, and that I had this enormous chance to do in my job nearly everything what a, a director can do. And, uh, because I'm sure you do not know what I, what I did. I did quite a lot of things. For instance, and this I'm proud of, I constructed 19 theaters as an architect. Two of these theatres are very big theatres and still working by uh, taken over by other people. But most of my theatre that I constructed, so I'm a constructor, a founder and a constructor. Uh, and these are where the theatres who were constructed for a special show and then it was taken away. So, um, as I always say, my art is very environmentally friendly. <laughs> so it, it, doesn't, it doesn't last, it just takes away and you 
you, you do it in a way that it will not be hindering everything and, and, and anything.